Hey guys, Zafina here. Sorry that I don't have my usual pep in my voice and um, I want to go ahead and apologize if you hear any background noise because of some little visitors that I have currently. Um, so something just happened to me that I, I felt like I needed to share. Well, it didn't happen to me directly. It happened to my friend who for the sake of the story I'm about to tell, I'll refer to as Knight. So, um, I was sitting here editing the next video that I'm going to put up, which is another reaction video since you guys responded so positively to my last one, when I got a call from my friend Knight. And, um, I get on the phone with her and she sounds pretty upset and what she told me horrified me, uh, both as a pet owner, as just a human being and basically what she told me is she was driving to a party down one of the roads in the town that I live in and the truck in front of her threw two kittens and I mean these are small kittens out of a car window a moving vehicle I can't even fathom what would drive a person to do this? It, it breaks my heart, if I'm being honest. It breaks my heart, it makes me angry, it just... I, I do not understand how someone could do that to another living creature. Um, I mean, I have a cat of my own, and I, I can't imagine her being thrown out of a car window. That would... oh my god, it would break my heart. Um, back to the story. So these two little kittens were thrown out of a car window. My friend immediately turned her car around and picked them up. And these are thankfully kittens that are old enough to be away from their mother, but only barely. They are barely old enough to be away from their mother. And she couldn't take them in, Knight couldn't, because um, she has a rather large dog and needless to say, rather large dog plus two tiny kittens probably wouldn't go too well. Um, and since she knew that I had a cat of my own, that I might know what to do with it, or do with the two little kittens, and so she called me, and that's what she was trying to figure out, was what to do with these two tiny kittens. Um, and thank God, or whatever power you believe in, fate, whatever, that it just so happens that my aunt has been looking for two kittens. So upon getting them back to my place where they'll be staying for the night, um, I've got them in a crate in my room because my actual cat will not be happy that there are other kittens in the house. I've got them in a crate locked in my room with me, which is why you might hear some background noise. Um, but my aunt is going to come over tomorrow and pick them up and take them to the vet make sure that they're okay, and um, give them a good forever home. So the reason I made this video is because th this story actually really bothered me. Thank any power that may be that this story has a happy ending. That these kittens are okay, that they are going to get the care that they need, and that they are going to have a forever home. But I had to make this video because the fact that these kittens were thrown out of a moving vehicle, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, the fact that someone could be so cruel as to throw two living creatures out of a moving vehicle is not okay. It is not okay. And this has been weighing on me and is something that I felt like I needed to share to even attempt to try and get past. Um, thankfully the kittens are well and they're okay now and um, they will be going to a forever home. I, I don't know their names yet because they don't have them and my aunt is going to name them. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to put up a little bit of footage that I got on my phone of these tiny kittens. 
eating and playing. They were starving when we got them. So uh, there are some videos of them eating and playing with me. And so I hope you enjoy that footage and know that these kittens will have a forever home tomorrow. Anyways, enjoy the following videos of kittens. And uh, this has been Zephina. See you guys in the next video. He just called me out of the blue and told me that two kittens had been thrown out of a car window. These are the kittens, which by the way, we called Aunt Manda and she's going to take them in. They are so cute and they are so friendly. See, Hi, I honeys. Said, I said, I think I found you a kitten. No, you can't get it. That's what she texted me back. What'd she say? <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, <laughs> don't choke your sibling. Don't choke your sibling, honky. Like in November, oh. she said. Oh, this cat, we had to put the other one in the crate because this cat is so greedy and the other one finished. <laughs> That's the cat making that noise. There's another bowl of food right there and he's just like, oh no no. He's like swerve. Uh -huh. I mean, the ball. The ball was originally over here. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm in the Walmart, heading to pet care to get the kittens some food because we gave them the last of the soft food, and we don't think they're old enough to eat hard food yet. So I'm going to Walmart at 10 o'clock at night to get food for the kittens. Where's the cat food? I never do this myself. That dog food, I think this is dog food. Kit caboodle, this is kitten food, but is it? Aha! Canned cat food, it's over here. Now there's a specific kind mom wanted, it needs to say pate, and it can't be anything fish. She needs two cans of it. Where, is that the only kind of pate they have? If it is, I mean, I'll get it, they'll eat it, but kind of you. Oh, you're fish and shrimp. Mom would kill me. Tender liver and chi There we go. Got it. Got it. Cat food. These precious beans. Oh, oh, you just stepped in the water! <laughs> I can't believe I got that on camera. Oh, you guys just got water all over you. Oh, now I gotta clean that up. Thank you so much, you little rascal. I they don't have names yet, so I don't know what to call them. Okay, let me get some paper towels and clean up their crate now. So this is what happens when I open the crate. If I can get it open. It's locked. Hi, Sam. Hi. 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 Oh, here comes the other one. You can get out. You did it a minute ago. I watched you do it. Oh, I've got one climbing on me. You can get it. I believe in you. I believe in you. There you go. They oh, God, they're little climbers. Oh, this one's trying to climb up me. Let me. No, you gotta stay on me, sweeties. Well, I was gonna get some editing done, both on videos and on other things. Um, stories and stuff, but... Now I've got two little visitors that I've gotta take care of. You're curious. You are very curious. You gotta stay over here, dotted little one. Oh, oh, now you're getting curious. Yeah, you learned your lesson. You stepping in the water bowl, didn't you? Look at your little climbers. They're both adorable. I love you. I'm glad you're gonna have a forever One home. One of them uh, likes to keep trying to bury in my shirt. Oh, oh, the other one's climbing over my recording arm. Nope, oh, hello. Oh, you're falling. You two are just precious and lucky. Oh my god. They're just looking up at me so forlornly, and I love them. They're sleeping. They're sleeping now. Oh, hello. It's okay, little one. 
<laughs> Go back to sleep. God, they just want love. Go back to sleep with your sister. Go back to sleep.